20. That was nicely judged. He could have caught that red thicker and it would have been safe. 24. Trying to catch the yellow full in the face. We wasn't sure. Uh, these two reds closest together definitely go to the green pocket, but it could go to that left middle. Now he played the cannon to them. You can see Stephen's reaction here when he didn't get the cannon. Ooh, he tried to force it there. But yeah, it's a pretty Stephen Hendry, useful lead, 44. Well, he needs a colour from this. Otherwise, he could only tie. Oh, One. Was that a great kiss on the black? That was a real stroke of luck. It was a great pot. But to have got a kiss like that, Nigel Bondi. That's a good pot. One. And nicely on the blue, got the angle to take the red to the yellow pocket. Thirty points now, the difference. Every chance that he can do that now, what a steal this would be. Ten. getting a good 15. angle on the blue to be able to stun over or get the white over behind the pink. 19. It's to pull up and that's just 19. about perfect. I mean, he could try to move the pink here, looking at the angle he has, which is in the best position to see what he can do. He's tried to move it and hit the wrong side of it. 24. This game was nearly over a few shots ago when Stephen was clearing up and he's potted the green and nearly made the cannon to two reds. Has he gone for the double? Well, I don't think he did. I think he played the cue ball in behind the black. <laughs> that was amazing, that. And it's in an amazing frame of snooker for yes, all the world. It looked frame. as if we were going to be two frames all. But it looks like he is angled. Yeah, he is. Not easy for Nigel to knock this red up the table and cover the one that's over the pocket. In fact, he could see it direct. He wasn't snookered on that, so he could cover that one. There's not a gap, is there? No, you see it. He could finish on the black here, you know. Yeah, he's on it. 
He's going to take another good shot here, but he's on the black. Good pot. Uh, wanted Nine. to go past the black. Stephen rushed that shot because he was so disgusted with himself. Stephen Henry well, Knight. I mean, what a chance he had there. Look at the reds, how they're situated. The black was in the clear. Oh, what about that for a shot from Nigel Bond? That was his best shot of the evening. That easy pink he missed quite some time ago now, well and truly forgotten. Can open things up here. Oh, got to pop the pink, though. Yeah, just took it for granted. I don't think that was pressured. One. Well, he's on one this time. He doesn't really want to play for that red nearest the left corner pocket. But felt he had no choice. If you drop it in, that's okay, but the cue ball's going to be going close to the cushion if he plays that. And that's not really where he wants to be. That's good queuing. Played that so well. Stunned run through off two cushions. Very confident upon that. Third. That last frame really gave him a terrific boost. Thirty-eight. This is a bit pacey. Needs to pull up. And the blue's just a little awkward with the pink to the right of it, so it's got to give this a little bit of due care and attention. 41. I think he's on the pink, so he's played it really well. Well, maybe he wasn't on the pink, but... Uh, not a bad recovery, but while well, Joe has mentioned a few times how good Nigel is with the rest. 45. If he does get the black from this red, Henry could only tie. He's missed it, though. Nigel Bond, 45. As Dennis said, there's a lot of pressure on that shot because effectively it was match ball. Needs a good shot here, though. And again, what? this would hurt. If he should lose this frame, Nigel, it would hurt because frame and match was in his hands. Well, he's just in no man's land. He's going to have to take that hey. red down the cushion. Plenty of pressure on this one as well. Good pot. Nine. It's just about okay. He can pot the blue and avoid the in off and drop on this last red, but not straightforward. 
he's played it well. That's a wonderful little shot he's played there. Couldn't have played that any better. He'd like to be on the pink here. Just to get the pink away from the blue. Yeah, as Joe mentioned, if he had a, been able to get the pink back on its spot, it would have been a, a normal clearance. Should be okay, but the pink's a little bit of a distraction where it's sitting. Well, it may just mean he has to take the blue to one of the corners. Just depends how he lands on the blue on the brown here. Now, does he have the angle to play the cannon to the pink? Doesn't matter if he misses it. Beautiful. Absolutely Seven. beautiful. It's a strange game. He should have won the last frame, Stephen. He should have lost this one. But he's produced this clearance under extreme pressure. Every credit. Uh, he hasn't got the black yet, but you'd expect him to. Well played. Well, that's an amazing clearance from the seven times world champion. A one frame shootout. Always nice to get a good break off. And as our good friend John Parrott says, in the deciding frame, you just want to get one chance. Oh, <laughs> what can you say? One. What can you say? He's knocked in nearly every long ball, and that couldn't have gone any better. Look where he's finished on the blue. Beautiful shot. And I'll tell you what, Joe, if the black had been free, he would have knocked in a sizable break, but it's not going to be straightforward because of that reason. Six. Seven. Now, has he got a good enough angle to go straight into the pink? It was even Henry who first played this shot where you pop the blue and cannon into the pink and red's full ball. Not this time, he's played for the loose red that's available. He may have to go back up for the blue here. Oh, he may be trying to nudge the red away. He is, oh. and he's played it beautifully. Oh, what a shot. Well, Joe, he's going to have to pull one out here into the middle pocket because that is not easy. Oh, he's had a stroke of luck there, you know. Holds his hand up, but he's blocked the red going in this right corner. It's Nigel, who was a little fortunate catching the pink. He caught the red much too thin. He's taking a pot on, the one to the right of the pink, with a little bit of safety in mind. Oh. Wow, what a <laughs> shot. What a shot. And what about the kiss? Oh, oh well, well, look at that for a couple of kisses. Didn't he deserve that, though, Dennis? What a shot that was. Look at this for a pot. Incredible, the shot. It deserves to be a match winner. Yeah, a couple of good kisses, but what did it say? Fortune favours the brave. And can he go on? Nine. And secure this match. 
Just needs the gentlest of nudges here. Sixteen. And sometimes it helps when you see some safe reds on the cushion. Just in case you do miss. Seventeen. There was times he was going to give up altogether, but he's hung in there. He's put the bit of practice in, and it's starting to pay off. His long potting this evening, Dennis, has been absolutely superb. And as I said earlier, he seems to be getting stronger out there. Thirsty. And all that was lacking with the Stephen Hendry's game was that bit of confidence. So you'll have to watch out for the seven times King of the Crucible. 41. Just over hit it slightly, but he could take the pink, screw the cue ball to the cushion. Oh, he's very close. He's very close. And he's not there yet. Stephen Hendry, 41. Isn't it amazing? That black would have put him 67 in front with only 67 remaining. One. I don't know whether he's got the angle to cannon the two reds. Yeah, it's risky to play that shot, though. Could go in off. And it could be end of break. Eight. Oh, well, what about that? Nine. <laughs> he, he turned round to Stephen. He didn't play the plant. <laughs> Amazing that. Stephen's in his seat laughing. <laughs> well, the way he played it, it looked like he played the plant. Obviously not. He now can only tie the frame. Nigel Bond, nine. Oh, and that wasn't far away at all, was it? I think it was only the pace that kept it out. Just a containing safety. I can't, Nigel. Get up behind that brown. He's fluked the red. Where's the... Oh, look at this. He needed eight points from that red. That's an absolute disaster for Nigel Bond. Whoop. He's going to need snookers even if this blue goes in. I think that... Nigel Bond won. Ah, oh, that's a clever shot. Getting the black away from its spot. Well, it's a long time, Dennis, since that red with the rest that Nigel had to win frame a match to win it 4 2. But you've got to give full credit to this man. He's played so well. His safety's been. Brilliant as well, but his long potting and break building have been absolutely superb. And he'd be feeling pretty good, even though he's won all the titles and he's won seven world championships. I can tell you, it may be the seniors, but it means an awful lot to this man to put this sort of performance in. And Nigel comes forward to congratulate them. They're the best of friends. Nigel was looking a strong favourite, but in the end, you've got to give it to the seven times King of the Crucible, Stephen Henry. He's pulled one out of the fire, and he beats Nigel Bond on the deciding frame. Four frames to three.